Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, I'm sorry. It's just a lot of things just happened to pop up all at once and I couldn't really upload or let alone film at the moment, but let's get into the video. So I did a poll asking you guys, what would you like to see next? And you guys voted for the uh, Crest 3D white strips. So that's what I went and got. I already opened it because I wanted to know, I was too thirsty to know what was in here. So I'm gonna open it and show you guys what's in here. So you get this, it's like a light, the whitener portion of it, well not the gel stuff, but like it's supposed to help as well. You press these on the side and it, I don't wanna blind anybody, <laughs> it lights up. It's not like a microwave, but um, you put this, I think, in your mouth. I read the instructions, but I assume, I mean, it's obviously for your teeth, right? And you get some, let me just hold up a few of them, like white strips that you put on your teeth. I'm looking at the back of these right now. And um, it tells you what goes up top and down below. And um, it tells you pretty much how long you're supposed to put it on there for. So it says, peel the strip from the back liner. You apply the gel to your teeth and wear it for like an hour. It's a long time. What the hell am I do for an hour? And there's also this like little instruction thing on what you're supposed to do, which I'll follow and you guys will just see me do it and we'll just go from there. And I'm sorry if it gets like light and then dark. <laughs> I'm using natural lighting for most of my videos or all of my videos, let's be honest. I don't have lights quite yet. I'm investing or looking into getting them, so bear with me. Okay, step one, which is put these strips on your teeth for an hour before using the light. I don't know if you can see this, but that's I made it probably blurry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm only I'm only one camera person. But you can see this goes up top. Let me double check. Yeah, that's the upper strip. And this goes below. So that's the bottom strip. How do you know these <laughs> Hold on. Oh, okay, I see now. It says you can pull it so that it covers, you know, it has some elastic, elastic to it. Stretch it out. Okay. My hair is a mess. Let's point that out. I don't care if I'm up or I'm on camera. I'm only, I'm just chilling. I need to get pretty good in white strips. All right, so. I feel like I need a camera. I mean, I need a camera. I need a mirror. I'm gonna try to put these on like this, but then go adjust in the mirror in my, in my bathroom. Let's see. Get on. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be perfect, but gotta work with what you got. Just press these on here. Oh shit. <laughs> you can see my bottom teeth. This is what it looks like, and that's what this looks like on here. Let's do a comparison after we use all these strips. I think you can do it once a day, it said. Just a, like maybe the max being twice, but maybe once a day. And I'm gonna put this bottom one in. This feels weird. Like I feel like I'm wearing, I don't know, not necessarily braces, but it just feels weird. Like you just know something like you Like when you eat something and you feel it like, you know, on your tear. I'm gonna stretch this out just a little. You can see me stretching, pulling it out. It's actually, yeah, some elastic right there. Elastic tippy, is that what they call it? Alright. Uh, no. Uh, oh god, I can't tell where. Can I use my tongue to help put these on? Okay. <laughs> this feels so weird. 
It's not that bad though. It's it's definitely doable. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Now we wait an hour. Hmm. What time is it? I need my phone. All right, four forty-six. So in about five. That's damn. I'm supposed to be somewhere at five thirty. That's okay. It is okay. We can make do. We'll be okay. All right. So um, let's see my reflection. Oops. This is what it looks like. On again, I'm gonna go in the bathroom and just adjust so we can see. But um, so it looks like. So uh, I'll be back in an hour, I guess. That's what I'm gonna do for an hour. I'm gonna watch on for new black. That's what I'm gonna do for an hour. That it'll be one episode is about an hour, so I'll be back. All right, I'm back. It's been an hour, so the next step is to put the light on our upper and bottom teeth, bottom, bottom teeth, and you just press it, and then just when it goes off, it'll be like you heard earlier, and you just put on the next part, and you're done. You just take these out. All right, so so we're gonna leave it here. Mm-hmm. Let me get to see this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Bounce Flicks. On today's Ending Explained, we'll be looking into the ridiculous world of hierarchy and him to get a chance. As we see, that's the real point of this whole charade. It's not about the art itself at all, really. Really agitated and concerned. When Josephina comes in, shook up about a door taking out her frustration. Okay. That felt weird. Okay. I did the top layer. And it feels like I don't know what happened. The light definitely did something. The like the texture of it now feels not it's not slimy. It's like a like a sticky or gummy feeling now. But I'm gonna leave it in there until I do the bottom layer as well. Another thing. Um as I was doing the top half of my teeth, the bottom half, it was like a tingling feeling. And I don't know if that's because I have sensitive teeth, that the light might be, a, I don't know, a bit much. I think that might be something to watch out for if you have sensitive teeth. The light might be, it might hurt, I guess I should say. Just a tad. I think I'm supposed to do this like at least once a day until you run out of however many come in the box, the strip thingies. And the light also works the same. Let me rephrase. It works for however many strips you have in the box. So when you run out of strips, the light no longer works. You just throw everything out. There's no recharging this, getting batteries for it, they say on the um, instructions. I read them. But um, yeah. I'm gonna do this bottom half and I'll come back and we'll, I'll take them out and we'll see what it looks like and I'll explain how it feels and the process. And I'm gonna also time it too. Just to see how long, you know, this takes. Cause there is no, it just has a few minutes. That few minutes felt like five minutes. So I want to give you an estimated uh, time frame how long this takes. All right, that was like five minutes. Took about five minutes for this to work. It's magic. Hold on, let me turn this off. Um, so take them out. <laughs> Feels weird. I, I taste. It tastes like I don't know. Familiar. How do we look? I have to go in the bathroom and check anyway. But here are the things that come out. Some type of like I know this this feels familiar like when you go to the dentist. But honestly, doing that lower half didn't bother me as much. But my teeth are a bit like like a, a slight pain. Again, it might be because of the sensitivity issue. So be mindful if you have that type of problem. Other than that, I 
mean, I can't really make a decision or give any type of review other than it's not a hard process. You can still function with things in your mouth or in a light with being in your mouth, you know what I mean? Um, you just have to see what happens as these days progress. I'll um, definitely show you when I do it, possibly, maybe. But not on my camera, probably like on my phone or something, just put it in my mouth or my teeth or whatever. Just so we can get an idea of what's going on, how it looks. You know what I mean? Just the whole experience. I'll say that. Um, so I guess we'll see final verdict at the end. But this feels so weird. You can probably even hear it. It feels, it sounds weird, but it's familiar. You know what I mean? I mean, so far, nothing negative to say. We'll just have to see what happens. And I want to show you guys, after I finished filming, I came into the bathroom, or I went in the bathroom, and this is what I see. And if you can see it. Look. Look at how patchy. You can hardly see it there, yeah. Look. Oh my God, it's trying to get the stains out my teeth. Well, make it white, that's what it's supposed to do, right? Sorry, my nose is like in frame. <laughs> yeah, this is after the first use. Oh God, I'm gonna be at work like this tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna have to just be like, mm-hmm. Hi, yeah, <laughs> just real quick, Um, but yeah. Wow, I guess we'll see what happens, guys. Okay, so here's day two. I'll put them on there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it's like, I don't know, the bottom is white. And a bit of the front here, I'm trying to focus this. But like, everything else is still like stained. But it's trying to whiten them, so I don't know if I'm putting the the, um, that's the bad lighting. I should probably not do this on my phone. Maybe I'm not putting them on there good enough. Or is it a good product? <laughs> I don't know, it's only day two, right? Yeah, it takes some not light all there. Yeah, so well, this is the second day. I did it before bed, so we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Hopefully it looks different. This is the next day. I don't know, it's still like it's trying to color correct, you know, the rest of my tea, like it spread it out some or something. I got up, this is the next day, I got up, I brushed my teeth and um, I didn't put the next gel and light on just yet. I'm gonna do that after I eat. So after I eat, I'm gonna um, do that. But this is just how I've, how they look right now. I don't know if you can really see anything. I want y'all all in my mouth though, but just updating you. Over here it looks like up. <laughs> my lips are all busted and chapped. At close. Oh, like I didn't get the lot on, but like, once it's like this, you can't really. You can't really like. I guess you could, but I'm gonna just let it be, and um. We'll just see what happens. But um, I just wanted to update you guys on the 3D, what's this, Quest 3D white strips, just to give you my honest opinion about it. Now, um, when I first started using these, I had no problem whatsoever. It was pretty simple, step by step to follow, but um, I did notice that in the process of doing it, that I would get like patches or spots on my teeth. Like it'd be like white and then like some were yellow. It just looked crazy when you would go out in public and try to talk to somebody or smile for something and then you see all these spots or specks, you know what I mean? It was just awkward. But I guess that's part of the process because it's trying to clean the teeth anyway, so. I would say don't be, that's just something to expect, don't be surprised. I've noticed when using these that my teeth are 
pretty sensitive. So trying to use these every day, like once a day. <laughs> if your teeth are sensitive, I wouldn't advise it. I would say do it every other day. Cause I had to take a break. Cause my teeth started to hurt when I was using the strips and the, the light. My teeth were hurt for like maybe, I would say three days. And that's not fun, trying to eat and do stuff when your teeth hurt, that's just not good. So that was also what I experienced when using the strips. Just so you would know FYI, if you do intend on trying to utilize or buy these. Um, so it took me maybe, honestly, a few weeks, because I wanted to see what would happen despite my teeth hurting, because I didn't want to, you feel me? So I would like do it every now and then. That's why this took so long. In the end, do I think it was worth it? Honestly, not really. It just was, I think, a, a waste of, of money. And not only that, my damn teeth was hurting. <laughs> it wasn't fun. So uh, would I buy this again and try it? Maybe not this particular kind. Maybe from Crest brand, something else that whitens your teeth. Something not as harsh as this, I would say. Maybe the light, the UV light was too much. I don't think you're supposed to really put that on your teeth to begin with, but I mean, people use it, it's, it's like a mixed bag. It's got its pros and cons. Um, but the process of it, just going about it with the strips and the light, pretty easy, nothing too crazy. You can kill time as you wait for it to settle in. I typically just watch like something on Netflix or play a game or listen to music, write, whatever, just for an hour because that's how long it takes for the strips to sit for a while before you use the light. I think from afar, my teeth look pretty good from this camera that you guys are seeing me as, but I mean, I'll say up close to they look pretty good. I'll take a close up so you can see how it looks, but that's just my opinion. If you want white teeth or you know, just good teeth hygiene. Well, not hygiene, but I guess they go both in hand in hand. So, just brush every day, night and day. Floss, floss it is important. And on occasion, use mouthwash. Um, anything else? Final closing thoughts. Just again, I don't think the the strips, the three D white strips from Crest are worth it. I wouldn't get it again. I'll probably check something else, but just not that particular thing again. Well, thanks for watching and sticking around this far if you have. I really appreciate you for following me on this journey. Me being very inconsistent. <laughs> I promise I'll try to do better. I promise, promise, pinky promise. Fingers are crossed, okay? Um, just don't crucify me in the comments below. So anyway, again, Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.